Hi there. So the last time we left off, I was deciding between one cat or two. So I decided on one and the, the rescue group that I was trying to adopt the cats from, the woman I was working with, or at least communicating with, after corresponding, she replied that I could not just adopt the one cat. I would have to adopt either two or an adult cat as she, after seeing them play together, she believed that they should be with another cat or each other. Even though after I repeatedly told her and expressed my doubts with two cats and she continually fought that, and by that I mean she would continually say, we highly recommend, and I don't believe she understood what recommend means, and that was just a huge issue that I had because at no time did she ever clarify that I could not just adopt one, even though I was very transparent in only wanting to adopt one. When my, I had my dad email her, she pre tried to lie to him and tell him that I didn't express any issues with adopting two, in which was very false. I made many clear when I was with her. So I decided to look elsewhere. And I did find one place and I accidentally went to a different place that was literally right in front of it first. So here we have Kiana, I believe, but she was so timid and she just didn't act like I thought was for me. And when I tried to pet her, she backed away into her litter box and I felt very bad for her and I believed that she was not the right match for me at the time. You're so itty bitty, all of you, hello. And this on the left is Phoebe, the one I had meant to see and ended up adopting. Hello, precious, I love you. Hi. Oh. Can I pet you? No? Okay. That's cool. Oh. Hello, you're so precious. It's okay. Here. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. I think you're coming home with me today. I think you are. You made it out before I could get you out. Let me get your collar so I don't trip over you. Your food? Where'd you go? Huh? No, seriously, where did you go? Is he in the box? Behind the box? No, under the couch, where I knew you would go. Perfect. Thanks, Mom. No, you don't need to go like underneath the couch. Yeah, you found that. Didn't you? Can I jump down? Or you can go down your ladder. Oh, or you could climb. Or you could go down. Or you could climb. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There, you got the hang of it. Oh, are you going down? That's too tall. That's okay. Good. No, 
Careful. It's gonna go down that way. Ooh, oh, well, he went down, whether he wanted to or not. You did great. Yeah, honey. And so she was the perfect match. She was cuddly. She laid on my lap. Uh, she had a bit of a biting and clawing thing, but uh, currently I've made progress with that. And she was very active and playful, and it, it was just the perfect match. It, honestly, I I actually wound up uh, like tearing up almost crying a couple of times because it was just perfect and meant to be. So even though the first uh, rescue didn't quite work out, it ultimately worked out in the end. However, uh, we quickly realized she had a tapeworm issue, so we took her to the vet that Saturday and we got that settled No. You don't want to attack me anymore? Oh, no, there you go. Can you please not hurt? <laughs> she got it. <laughs> oh, it's an elastic. It's a bungee. It has three to swing like Everything went better until the cough lingered and she became lethargic and had no interest in food or really any water and it was like 11 o'clock at night before going to bed and I was going to take her the next day but she just refused water her eyes were unfocused and I immediately took her to the vet to find out that she had 104 fever when I was told 101 is about normal and the cough was some sort of like respiratory problem but after a hefty vet bill and some nasal decongestion and moxicillin she is now behaving and back to normal. Oh. It's okay, honey. You're doing better. You got your medicine. Yeah, your, your sneezing will go away. I called the animal services that I got her from and let them know about the respiratory thing because I was told it was existent before I got her. So I gave them a heads up to check the other kittens for that and the tapeworms. But now she is doing just fine and is her healthy little self now and i love her and yeah that was adopting a kitten so i hope you have a wonderful weekend and make some good out there bye